Intrigued by the next frontier in fashion technology? From AI text to video to cutting-edge AI discoveries, join us on this exciting journey as we bridge the gap between technology and style. Find out. Welcome to the 360 Fashion Podcast where you'll get the week's top most important news items in the realm of fashion and technology. I'm your host Anina's AI, from 360 Fashion Network. I read hundreds of news items from fashion, augmented reality, virtual reality, wearables, robotics, textile innovation, and futurism every day. I choose the most critical items to summarize for you saving you time so you can focus on your business. Listen and subscribe to receive this roundup regularly. Now let's jump right into it. First Fashionverse is now on Netflix Games Netflix has added another video game to its growing library, and this one is a game that will surely delight the wannabe fashion designer in your household. Become a fashion designer thanks to Fashionverse on Netflix Games Netflix Games has added Fashionverse to their growing catalog of mobile games playable on iOS and Android. The official description on the Apple App Store reads, From cafe chic to red carpet glam, dress clients for all occasions. Flaunt your fashion sense in daily challenges and vote on the community's top looks. Step into the shoes of a talented stylist and fashion critic in Fashionverse. Create and style your own fashionable looks for a wide range of clients to become the ultimate trendsetter. Fashionverse is a game that was announced to be coming to Netflix games last December. So, for the game to already be available is a pretty awesome turnaround. Will you be checking out Fashionverse on Netflix? News source, Cloud Dosage, Less Sci-Fi, More Romance. Nicola Formichetti's plan to rebrand digital fashion for Formichetti will help forge partnerships with established luxury brands, identify and foster emerging talent and shape Psyche's physical events. He will also serve as an ambassador of sorts who can bridge the traditional fashion industry with tech an important role as skepticism of the metaverse is high. The reason why I was so attracted to Psyche was because they were treating this fashion tech universe like a traditional fashion brand. I love the attention to detail, and the concept of nature mixed with tech. It was as if a fashion company was doing something fidgetal, and I was like, that's it, he says, speaking to Vogue Business while en route to a flight to Tokyo. Digital fashion, the metaverse and Web3 have been on a roller coaster of popularity since the pandemic. Interest surged in 2021 after Facebook changed its name to Meta. Christie sold an NFT artwork by Beeple for $69 million and the value of Ethereum 1 reached a record high of more than 4800 Now, Ethereum 1 is worth half of that, and the pace of fashion NFT drops has plummeted. A survey of the Vogue business community revealed that going into 2024, Web3 and NFTs came last in terms of tech category excitement. In its place? Artificial intelligence. Fashion it seems, may have moved on. The shift has been at best disheartening and at worst detrimental, wrote Daniela Loftus, digital fashion influencer and founder of Drop, writing that 2023 was the year that killed the trend of digital fashion. In its place, she notes, digital fashion can slowly grow as an industry, rather than a trend. News source, Vogue, Perrier Jouet debuts 3D printed collaboration with Chanel's Atelier Montex in an extraordinary fusion of creativity, expertise, and technology. Perrier Jouet has debuted its latest collaboration with Chanel's Atelier Montex. This partnership showcases a remarkable blend of French savoir faire and innovation, featuring unique 3D printed designs inspired by the world of the prestigious Champagne House. With a strong commitment to environmentally responsible production, this collaboration merges the heritage and craftsmanship of Atelier Montex with the cutting-edge possibilities of 3D printing technology. The resulting creations provoke visions of elegance and modernity, seeking to challenge the boundaries of traditional artisan techniques. This exclusive collection features stunning, nature-inspired pieces reflecting Perrier-Jouet's affinity for beauty and its dedication to nurturing artistic talents. The designs embody the exquisite workmanship of Atelier Montex and the unrivaled essence of fine champagne. News source, Luxury Daily, Mango launches first store on Roblox for digital fashion experience Mango has marked its entry into the digital world with the opening of its first store on Roblox, an immersive global platform. This move signifies Mango's commitment to bridging the gap between the physical and virtual fashion worlds. 
Located in the Roblox-based virtual outfit shopping mall, Mango Store offers users the opportunity to purchase exclusive Mango Team digital garments and products for their avatars. This initiative is a testament to Mango's strategy of fostering an ecosystem that provides varied experiences and services across multiple platforms. In collaboration with digital partner brand Newverse, Mango has become a key contributor to the Outfit Shopping Mall. This virtual shopping center, set on a Mediterranean-themed island, is designed to replicate a realistic shopping experience in the digital realm. Mango's presence on Roblox, a platform with a substantial user base of over 70 million daily active users, exemplifies its dedication to digital innovation and customer-centric experiences. MTUs so it can be enjoyed by a wide range of student ages and abilities. News Source, 365 Retail, Music Informed Fashion Collections Jay's Rock Nation and Montclair are the latest collaborations to hit the market, garnering attention across different industries. Reigning from both music and luxe fashion, the outdoor apparel brand and New York-based record label created a partnership that was launched at Montclair's The Art of Genius event in London. The exclusive collection is a highly sought-after range that highlights the community that defines the concept of the art of all. The capsule has a complementary theme that formulates abnormal structures that manipulate human proportions. This includes outerwear with laser cut shapes with textural crocodile prints which are designed with inspiration from busy New York streets. There are also inflated silhouettes that are accented with rubberized badges and silk arm pockets for textural contrast. News source, Trend Hunter, Wimey developed an A.I.-driven real-time spatial interaction perception system for interior design Wimey Hologram Cloud Inc a leading global hologram augmented reality AR technology provider, today announced that it developed an AI-driven real-time spatial interaction perception system for interior design. The design industry has ushered in the era of personalized design, and the co-use of AI and VR technologies provides an unprecedented opportunity. Virtual reality VR technology has made remarkable progress in the past few years. Its successful application in fields such as entertainment, training and healthcare has attracted widespread attention. In the field of interior design, VR technology can provide an immersive experience that enables users to feel the three-dimensional effects of design solutions in a virtual space. The mature application of this technology provides a solid technical foundation for the development of AI-based real-time spatially aware decorative design systems. AI provides more possibilities for personalized design, enabling designers to better understand users' preferences and needs and tailor unique design solutions for them. Understanding different user preferences and needs through data analysis can be a valuable resource in interior design, and by analyzing and utilizing this information, AI technology can better support designers in their decision-making, making the design process more scientific and precise. News Source, Yahoo, Journey to Nowhere with Etro's AI-generated SS24 campaign last summer, Creative Director of Etro, Marco da Vincenzo took us to an illustrious Italian summer. For the latest spring-summer 2024 collection, he takes us to nowhere, or as Etro likes to see it, the apex of human imagination. Created in collaboration with AI and digital artist and prompt designer, Silvia Badalotti, the campaign depicts Setro's latest collection through a series of fantastical scenes. In these images, time ceases to exist, starry skies envelop human-like subjects and vegetation grows boundlessly. The images portray hazy and ethereal scenes, reminding viewers of the magic that is possible in nowhere and the possibilities of when tech and humans collide. The collection grounds itself in bold, nature-like prints and colors. Many of the pieces feature big vines flowers and pastel blues, greens, reds and pinks. Furthermore, many pieces exist in matching sets, with a counterpart featuring an inverted color palette and prints. Shop this collection and explore Etro's Spring-Summer 24 collection at the brand's website. While you're here, check out Jacques Maslay Sculptures Collection. News Source, Yahoo, AI is helping pick what you'll wear in two years AI trend forecasting, then, is guiding the clothes we see on the runways and on the streets. To sum, this exacting, machine-driven process of digitization and categorization might sound terrifying to others, exciting. But it's happening.
and, in some ways, it merely continues trend forecasters' long reign in guiding the clothes that we buy and wear. As historian Regina Lee Blaschik and economist Ben Webbs write in their 2018 published book The Fashion Forecasters, A Hidden History of Color and Trend Prediction, it is by no accident do similar styles find their way onto the Paris runways and the fast fashion racks of Primark and Zara almost simultaneously this high level of coordination is made possible by trend reports from the fashion industry's shadow information system a hidden reconnaissance operation that gathers and analyzes data and recirculates it as style forecasts. As technology has become faster and more sophisticated at analyzing data, so too has trend forecasting. Generally, trend prediction models fall into two categories, micro-trends, which tend to last for a few months to a year, and macro-trends, which last far longer. In its early days, Trend forecasting was primarily concerned with macro trends for instance, the 1970s were defined by flared pants, earthy tones, and slouchy boots the 1980s were power suits and bright colors, etc. But micro trends became more prominent in the 2010s as social media blossomed and data analysis tools became more advanced. Normcore, health goth and athleisure were common parlance by 2014 and now. A new micro trend seems to emerge every month, with Barbie core, ballet core, and coastal cowgirl just some of the latest. The prevalence of AI in trend forecasting, whereby millions of images can be trawled each day, seems like it will inevitably only increase the speed at which micro trends appear. That's a worrying development from a sustainability standpoint, since the faster trends fall into and out of fashion, the faster clothes are bought and discarded. But AI-reliant forecasters like Heuritech assert that their technology promotes sustainability because it takes the guesswork out of what consumers want and, consequently, means that brands produce fewer clothes that don't get bought. Whether AI forecasting encourages or inhibits wasteful consumption is up for debate as is the question of whether it encourages or inhibits creativity. It seems almost inevitable that AI will circumvent innovation to some extent by encouraging brands to produce only what is algorithmically projected to succeed. Yet, when asked this question here it told us that, if used with innovative intention, they believe their technology can lead to more imaginative creations. News Source, Bloomberg, here are the week's top news. If you want to get more fashion tech news items of the week check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.